This is Chris Reynolds of the Los Angeles Times in Bentonville, Arkansas. Bentonville is a city of about 35,000 in the northwest corner of the state, and it's the world headquarters of Walmart. Alice Walton is the daughter of Walmart's founder, a billionaire many times over and she decided to build a major museum of American art here in Bentonville. More than a billion dollars has gone into the project, which is called Crystal Bridges. It opened in November 2011. I was asked to uh, come by Alice Walton, and she was um, articulating her vision for what Crystal Bridges could be. And uh, we, you know, started finishing each other's sentences within a few minutes. You got a little pond, that being Bentonville, that already has a giant alligator looking at it, that being Walmart. And the museum is like dropping a four-ton boulder in the middle of that pond. I mean, I can say, I just think it's incredible. I mean, we've, I mean, to find a beautiful art museum, Tulsa has Gilcrease, but that's about the closest thing. The way people think and talk about Northwest Arkansas and uh, the sense of place has changed dramatically even in this first year. You know, it's not flat Delta Arkansas, it's the Ozarks. It's extraordinarily rolling green hills full of natural waterways. Thorn Crown Chapel, which is on everyone's list of must-see buildings in the world is 40 minutes from here. And Really, we, have, we live in the prettiest part of the state. Seven restaurants have opened on the square since I've been here. Tavola for Italian. So we have a great Indian restaurant in the neighborhood. We have a great Vietnamese restaurant. We have a great Thai restaurant. It's a table mesa for Mexican. As Fred Bernstein said in the New York Times recently, Bentonville has got to be the most cosmopolitan small city in America. I've only been here two months. So it's a... I've got neighbors that moved here from Washington and London and Singapore and all over the world. We had people, neighbors, as after we moved in, walking up and welcoming us, but not just walking up and welcoming us or bringing us cookies or something, but saying, oh, you're the artist and your wife is the dancer and she's pregnant and you guys just moved from Chicago. And when you've only told maybe one person that, you realize that like everybody, so you're, you're under a greater degree of scrutiny. It's extraordinary. I have a six-year-old son who decided that he would go and play his violin one night on the square with the Friday Night Tamers, and it was, you know, it, it's an amazing experience to be part of that kind of indigenous culture, even as all of this new culture is arriving. People are going to be studying what happens in Bentonville right now for years to come.